This play is gonna make you a lot of money today. We are going to go over the NBA and I'm going to give you guys one of the F-bombs if you guys stay till the end of the video. But let's talk about what happened yesterday. All right, bust out the brooms, guys, because we ended up sweeping across the board again. Everything we said in the videos won and all the F-bombs won as well. We had the Houston Texans' Joe Mixon to go over 69 and a half rushing yards. He had a 71% probability for that, and he basically got that almost in the first quarter. So he crushed that right out the gate. Then we had the Washington Wizards' Kyle Kuzma to go under 32 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. He had also a 71% probability for that. He ended up pretty much, that was a blowout game. They didn't even play the fourth quarter. He went way under that number. And then that went hand-in-hand -hand with Jordan Poole, which we had on the show. Jordan Poole under 30 and a half. Same thing happened with him. He went way under because it ended up being a blowout. They didn't play the fourth quarter. So solid there. Then we had Cade Cunningham to go over 34 and a half points, rebounds, and assists with a 73% probability back in that. He eclipsed that number easily. He had like 42, I think, points, rebounds, and assists. So he crushed that number as well. Then we went to New York where we had Carl Anthony Towns to go over 36 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. And even in a blowout, he still was able to eclipse that number. He ended up having 39 points, rebounds, and assists. So he crushed that one as well, just playing three quarters. So just because there's a blowout factor doesn't mean that they can't reach their number in three quarters, all right? Sometimes the problem is with the blowout factor is if the numbers are in the high 40s, yes, those are very hard to get in three quarters. But if you're in the 30s, Key players can eclipse that in three quarters if it's a blowout because obviously if it's a blowout, they should be scoring a lot of the, the points. So don't be so afraid of blowouts, all right, because they can work hand in hand. And yesterday literally worked perfect for both or actually all three for all three plays that we had in the same game. The Towns game, the pool game. I mean, yeah, the Towns game, the pool and Kuzma. All right. Worked perfectly. So Kuzma went out there, didn't do nothing. Pool didn't do nothing. And Carl Anthony Towns ended up having a great game. All right. Once again, guys, that was a complete sweep. So that was 5-0 and across the board. If you guys want these plays, make sure you guys click the link in the description. It's very important. Stop sitting on the sidelines and trying to hit your parlays that are never going to win. Learn how to do this the correct way. Because that's the only way you're going to actually win in sports betting is by following my advice that I give you. All right. That is how you are going to be successful. Now. Let's get to the $1,000 giveaway on Fridays. Again, every Friday till the end of the year, we're giving away $1,000. All you got to do is be subscribed and comment GOAT down below. Very simple, just like that. But you need to be subscribed. Again, 60 to 70% of people that comment are not subscribed. Make sure you just click the subscribe button. That's all you have to do. Go click the subscribe button and comment and you're entered. It's that simple. Now, before we get to today's F-bomb that I'm going to give you guys, I do want to talk about something. Now, this is the recipe for success when it comes to sports betting. This is important. So take out your pen, papers, and just follow along with what I tell you here because this is very important. First off, you got to have to have your bankroll figured out. Most people that start in sports betting, most people that are in sports betting, have no bankroll. I get hit with DMs every day on Instagram, on Twitter. Yeah, Frank, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I want to, you know, start my sports betting journey. I'm ready to stop losing. Okay, what's your bankroll? 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. You have to understand that's not a bankroll. That's pocket change, okay? Pocket change, all you're doing with that pocket change is you're expecting to get a crazy amount of money off of that. So remember this, if you have a $50 bankroll and you get a 100% return in a year, which is unheard of to get a 100% return in any type of investment, guess how much you've made? 50 bucks. <laughs> so you would wait $50 all year long to make 50 bucks. I doubt that people will not do that. All right. So you have to understand that you need to have a legit bankroll. You have to have some money. All right. You have to have at least $1,000 is what I usually say, at least if not three to five to 10, to be able to take this serious. Because here's the thing, I am not gonna take you serious if you only have 10, 20, 50 bucks to tell me that you have for a bankroll. I'm not gonna take you serious because then obviously you're not taking yourself serious by having pocket change to think that that is a bankroll. So having your bankroll is very important. You gotta have money to make money. 
Because now think, if you have a $10,000 bankroll and you make 100% return in a year, you've made $10,000. So you have to understand that it takes money to make money. Those with no money are not going to hit those quick come ups. That's not the way that it works. Again, you need to have the correct strategy in place as well. To be successful, you have to have the right strategies. If you don't have the right strategies, you're just going to be spinning your tires and you're probably just going to lose. All right, because you could have the right bankroll, the right bankroll management, but if you have the wrong strategy, you're just going to slowly bleed out. All right, if you're winning 40% of the time, yeah, you're not going to lose right away, but you're going to slowly bleed out. And next thing you know, you're going to empty out your bankroll a little bit here, a little bit here, and then it's all gone. So you got to have the right strategies in place. If you don't have the right strategies in place, you are not going to be successful with this. Now, if you guys want those strategies, like the probability ones that I show you guys every single day, and you want me to teach you how you can do those probabilities, click the link in the description. Very important, because if you want to be successful, you have to follow somebody that is successful. All right, plain and simple. There is no other way around it. There's no other way around it. Now, another thing is staying consistent throughout the ups and downs of the roller coaster ride of sports betting. You're going to win, you're going to lose, you're going to win, you're going to lose. That's the way that it goes. If you win 70% of the time, you're going to lose 30% of the time. So you're still going to get that feeling of losing. But you have to stay consistent throughout of it. It does not matter what happens. You have to stay consistent. You have to be able to bet every single time that you are going to bet, which should be every single day. Because if there's stuff going on every day, there is probabilities out there. Why is this show? Why do I do it every single day? Because there is opportunity out there every single day. So you have to be able to have time to stay consistent and put your bets in, do your research. Got to have time for that. And if you know how to do it correctly, it shouldn't take you that long. Like me, what I teach, all my guys under an hour each day, and they find the probabilities and everything that they need. It's that simple. You don't need to complicate it. People think that you need to spend 10 hours, 12 hours doing research. You do not need to do that. I've ran across so many people that have come to me for help that are doing 8 hours, 10 hours plus research, doing the wrong research, and they're losing. You're wasting your time, all right? You could do this in under an hour. Very simple. Under an hour each day, you could do this. You could stay consistent. You could be successful. That, it's that simple, trust me. Now, another thing is stop chasing the big payouts. The big payouts is what dooms every single sports better. So everybody's trying to chase those guys that have $10, $20, $50, $100, $200, $200 $200, trying to chase those big parlays. Those big parlays because that's where you're going to win $10,000, $20,000. You know, 50,000. That's where you're going to win. You're never going to hit those. No matter how many times you guys look on social media and you see these people putting in 12 leg same game parlays for 10 bucks and winning 15,000, that's probably not going to be you. All right. That is all a tactic by the sports books, by the social media to get you to think it's possible. So what do you do? You go and you donate your 10, 20 bucks every single time trying to chase, trying to get this big payout that you're probably never going to get. And then over the years, you end up putting yourself in a hole that you didn't even realize because you're betting 10 here, 20 here, 30 here, 50 here. Next thing you know, if you keep you know track of all that, it ends up being five, ten thousand dollars So understand that chasing the big payout is what broke people do. Because if you have no money, you're trying to get a quick come up and you're trying to make a lot of money from a small amount of money. That's not the recipe for success in sports betting. That is the recipe to lose your money and to develop a gambling problem. All right, if you're trying to chase big payouts, you are going to end up develop a gambling problem and you're going to lose all of your money. I've dealt with thousands of people and I see it day in and day out. I know exactly what it takes to be successful and chasing big payouts is not what it takes to be successful. The next thing is take your opinion out of it. All right. So many times, even myself, I'll look at a game and the probability is there. The numbers are there. Everything's there. But then I'm like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, I don't see how, you know, this player could go under this number. They're going against this team. They, they should play well against this team. But the numbers and the probability tells you otherwise. And guess what? The numbers and the probabilities are always right. Your opinion, most of the time, is going to be wrong. Sports betting is about numbers and probabilities. It's not about what you think is going to happen. It's just, just to be honest with you. What you think is going to happen is going to be wrong most of the time. Most of the people that I've dealt with throughout the years, the thousands of people, that's what their problem is. Their opinion. They think their opinion is going to be right, and it's usually wrong. Even myself, early on, I would think, this team's way better than this team, so they should win, right? No, wrong. This team scores a crazy amount of points. So does this team. There should be an over. No, wrong. It happens every single time. 
So make sure that you understand this is the recipe for success. Right here, what I showed you. If you need to screenshot it, you need to write it down, make sure you have this right here because it's very important. If you want to be successful, you need to emulate what success is. So again, if you guys want me to teach you exactly how to do this stuff one-on-one, -on -one, click the link in the description. It's very important. All right, now let's get to the one F-bomb that I'm going to give you guys for free basically today. It's going to be Anthony Davis. All right, Anthony Davis has a 75% probability to go over 40 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. He's going against the worst team at guarding the center position. So he should have the great matchup. He should be able to go in there and absolutely perform and get 40 plus. All right, he should be able to easily because when it comes down to it, Anthony Davis and LeBron obviously are the one two, but usage factor, Anthony Davis is almost up there taking number one from LeBron. All right, and that's crazy as a center position. So Anthony Davis should have no problem putting up rebounds, putting up scoring tonight, and he should be able to. I'm thinking one of those games where he has like. 30 and 15 something like that 30 30 points 15 rebounds something around that that end so that's what i'm thinking for anthony davis the 75 percent probability is pretty big all right that's pretty big to back that so there you go guys anthony davis over 40 and a half points rebounds and assist 75 percent probability for that to end up hitting if you're wondering where do i find this stuff because people i see in the comments the number is at 45 and a half this is an alternate line, all right? Alternate line is where you find inside your sports books. Go under player combos. Go under alternate points, rebounds, and assists. You're going to find it. Easiest place to find that is like FanDuel, BallyBet, DraftKings. You guys can find it. All you have to do is look inside the sports book. It's that simple. Now let's get to what are the other F-bombs for today. I have a 78% F-bomb and a 77% F-bomb, both in the NBA. So if you guys want those, click the link in the description. Maybe we sweep again, just like we did yesterday. Maybe we don't. Regardless, it doesn't matter. We move on to the next day. All right? Like I said, consistency is key. You just got to keep doing it over and over and over and over and over. That is the consistency. That is what is key to being successful in sports betting. 